Hey friends, this is Jane. I'm going to be doing a 45 minute bar and yoga stretch class for you guys. It's going to be an all levels class. No props required at all. If you'd like to follow along with the playlist, there's a link right under this YouTube video to our Spotify playlist. And if you like what you'd see and you'd like to donate to Arcana, you can visit the website and give the $10 suggested donation. We're going to get started right away here on our mats. If you'd like to come facing the back of the mat here, We're going to bring both arms up above us, breathing in through the nose. Arms are going to come up above, hands are going to come together. We're going to bring the hands down, tracing the center of the body, and exhale through the mouth. Let's do this two more times here, breathing in, hands come up. Exhale, hands come down. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Bring the arms up one more time, nice up above our heads here. Our left leg is going to come out behind us. Our right leg is going to bend to the knee here. We're going to come into a lunge to start off. Really bend in that front knee. Keep that back leg nice and extended. Keep those arms nice and raised, long. Tuck in that tailbone. Really feel the stretch. And always keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now let's twist our back foot here so our toes are now facing the long portion of the mat. Our right forearm is going to come onto our right thigh. Our left arm is going to come up towards the ceiling. Sorry, not towards the ceiling, up towards the back of the mat. I'm going to stretch in that left side body. Keep breathing. Now let's straighten that front leg. Bring that right arm to the inside of the calf here. Left arm comes up towards the ceiling. Gaze can follow that left hand. Coming into a triangle pose. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Bring both arms up and extend it nice and wide here. Both of our feet now are going to have our toes pointing toward that long side of the mat. Really extend those arms, coming into that five-pointed star. Extend those fingers. Really stretch wide here. Let's bring both hands down towards the mat, folding over our legs here. Taking that left hand, placing it right below our head during the center of our feet here, between our feet. Taking that right hand, bringing it up towards the ceiling nice and long. Gaze can follow that right hand, coming to a twist. Keep breathing. Keep that arm nice and extended towards the ceiling. Really feel that twist. Hands, our left hands firmly on the mat here. Feet are nice and firm on the mat. Let's drop that right hand. Place it where our left just was. Our left hand is going to come up to the ceiling now. We're going to twist on the other side. Gaze can follow that left hand. Really extend that left hand towards that ceiling. Keep breathing. Really feel the twist. Let's drop that left hand down now. Slowly come up. We're going to bend into our left knee now, turning our toes so they're facing the front of our mat. Arms are going to come up right over our heads here. Let's come into a lunge on the other side. Breathe. Really bend into that front knee. Back, knees, back legs nice and long. Arms are nice and long. Relax the shoulders. Breathe. Let's drop that left forearm onto our thigh. Bring that right arm towards the front of our mat, stretching into the other side, our right side body here. Really feel the stretch. Really extend that right arm. Let's straighten that front leg. Take our left hand, arm 
to the inside of our calf here. Right arm is going to come out nice and extended towards the ceiling. Our gaze can follow our right hand. Triangle on the other side. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's bend into that front leg again. Bring our arms up above us. And then slowly bringing them down. Placing both hands on the mat. Taking our left foot, bringing it back to meet the right. Coming into our first downward dog. You can pedal out the legs here. Shift from side to side. Really feel this stretch for just a second here. Then we're going to drop both knees down to the mat. Coming into a tabletop. We're going to do some cat cows here. So we're going to place our hands nice and firm on the mat. Shoulders are directly above the wrists. Why not breathe in, lift the chest. Exhale, round out the back, tuck the chin, curl over. Let's use a couple of these at our own pace. Breathing in, chest raises. Exhale, curl over. A few more at your own pace. You can kind of rock back and forth if you'd like, from side to side. Kind of roll out the back a little here. And when you're ready, let's place your little, make sure those hands are nice and firm on the mat here. We're going to tuck the toes again, lift the knees, coming into a downward dog. Stay here for just a second. We're going to shift those hips forward. Shoulders are going to come directly above our wrists. We're going to start coming into our strength training and our bar now. So we're coming into our high plank to start. So really tuck in that tailbone. Keep that back and neck nice and neutral here. Really squeeze and engage those abs to keep everything in line. Hands are nice and firm on our mats. Shoulders directly above the wrists. Breathe. Squeeze everything in. Keep everything nice and strong. Keep breathing. We're going to stay here for just a few minutes, seconds. <laughs> so keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Keeping everything engaged. You got this? Just a little longer here. Keep breathing. In through the nose and out through the mouth. A little longer. Eight, seven, six. Keep holding here. Five, four, keep holding, hold, 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 three, two, then we're going to take our arms, drop them to our forearm plank here. Still staying in that plank, keeping everything nice and engaged. We're going to take our left forearm, turn it towards the right, so now that our forearm is going to be parallel to the front of the mat here, we're going to come into a side plank here. So we're in our forearm, side plank. Make sure our forearm is nice and firm on the mat here. Hold this position if you can. Your arm can come up on your waist, can come up above you, or it's the ceiling, whatever feels comfortable. We're going to hold this for just a second. Then we're going to do some hip dips here. So staying in this position, we're taking our left hip, just dipping it towards the mat, not touching the mat, and then back up. Dip, up, dip, up. If this is too much, you need to stay in your forearm plank. Just a few more here. Keep breathing. Remember, you can take a break at any time. Throughout this whole practice, you can always take a break anytime you'd like. A few more here. Dip, 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 dip. And now let's drop that right forearm back down. Let's do that on the other side. Right forearm now. Turning to the left. It's going to be parallel to the front of our mats. We're planking on our forearm on the other side. Arms can place whatever you'd like. Let's do those dips on this side now. Remember, take that right hip, dip it towards the mat. Up, towards the mat. Not touching the mat, just towards the mat. Dip. 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 Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. 
breathe.
So we're really engaging our abs here. Try to keep a nice curve in the back and the spine here. You're not going straight down. We're tucking in that tailbone, curling our spine, and then getting nice and low as we can. And we're going to make sure our feet are nice and firm on the mat. Whenever we're ready, our arms are going to come out extended. We're going to hold at our lowest spot position here that we can. And then we're going to come up just a little bit. Lift both arms as we do this. We're going down, hovering as low as you can, and back up. Down, up. Keep breathing. Keep those feet nice and firm on the mat. Breathe. Down. Arms come up. We come up. Down, up. Really squeezing those abs. Getting some work in the shoulders as well. Really try to keep everything engaged to keep everything in line. Keep breathing. A few more like this. Then our next floor, we're going to come nice and low here. Bring both of our hands in. We're going to do some punches and twists. So we're going to take our left hand. Both, both our hands are going to be in a uh, fist here. Taking our left hand, we're going to come out, twist to the right side, punch to the right side with our left hand. Coming back to the center, now opposite side, twisting to the left, punching to the left with our right hand. Twist, right side, left side. Twist and punch. Keep breathing. Going at your own pace. You can take a break anytime you'd like. Remember, everything is just an option here. You don't have to do them. If it's too much, you can just hold a position if you'd like. You can take a break if you'd like. We're going at our own pace here. Keep breathing into the nose and out through the mouth. Give me some work in the obliques, working in the abs, working the arms. Twist and punch. Twist and punch. Keep breathing. A few more. Keep those feet nice and firm on the mat. Keep squeezing those abs. Let's count down now. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's come back up here. We're going to hold here, get as low as we can. Keep our arms nice and extended to our side. Hold here. Hold here, get a little bit lower if you can. Hold. Keep holding. Get a little bit lower if you can. Hold, hold, hold. And hold. Eight, seven, six. Keep holding. Get a little bit lower. Squeeze those abs. Six, five, four, three, two. And let's drop it out. Not done with our abs here. We're going to come. Back into that position when you're ready. This time, we're going to extend our legs and extend our arms at the same time, getting nice and low, and then we're going to bring both in, bending on our knees and squeezing our legs towards our chest. Extending arms and legs, bring them both in and squeeze. Extend, woo, and squeeze. Extend, bend and squeeze. Keep breathing, squeeze those abs. A few more here. Keep breathing. Extend those legs and those arms, squeeze those thighs in. Extend, squeeze. Keep breathing. Count down again here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come back to that extend, let's drop ourselves down to the mat here. Whew. A little more on the abs, we're almost done with those. I'm gonna bring 
Keep our upper body nice on the mat here. Keep that tailbone nice and tucked in. We're gonna lift both our legs now. Extend them upwards. We're gonna drop that left leg. Grab the back of the right thigh with the, your hands. And then we're gonna alternate here. So now our left leg is gonna come up. Right's gonna come down. We're gonna grab that left leg. This, now our, our head is gonna be lifted, but try not to put too much strain on your neck as you're doing this. We're gonna be alternating, grabbing that back of that right thigh, grab the back of the left. Right leg comes up, left, left leg comes up. Both legs are fully extended. The bottom leg is not touching the mat, it's just hovering on the mat, right above the mat. Keep breathing, few more here. If this is too much, you can always bend those knees. This is a little easier, and then you're gonna be grabbing the front of your calves here. This is still too much. So you can just take a break if you'd like. You can also just drop the lower leg to the mat. Feel free to do any of these alternations. But keep squeezing those abs, engaging those abs. A few more here, wherever you're at. Keep breathing. This is our last set for abs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's extend both those legs wherever you're at. We set them as low as you can, hovering on that mat. You can drop that head down, hover those legs, breathe here, squeeze your abs. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, let's drop it up. Breathe. Whenever you're ready, let's bend those knees, place those feet nice and firm on our mats. Coming into a bridge here. We're gonna lift our hips. If you haven't and you'd like to, you can interlace the fingers, really tucking in those shoulders. Otherwise, your hands can just, your fingertips can come towards the heel of your feet, heels of your feet. Lifting in those hips, getting a nice stretch here. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Taking a nice little break here for just a second. Whenever you're ready, we're gonna slowly lower down, vertebrae by vertebrae. We're going to come up to a seated position and eventually turn ourselves around, coming onto our stomachs on the mat. So we're going to come into a sphinx here. We're going to tent our fingers, our fingertips. I'm going to turn a little bit so you can see what my upper body is doing. Tenting our fingers here. We're going to lift the chest. Then we're going to take our right shoulder and our right cheek and drop them towards the floor for the mat. <laughs> we're going to lift up, lifting our chest, dropping now our left shoulder and our left cheek to the mat. Do a couple of these alternating. So we're going to lift up, drop the right side. Lift up, drop the left side. Keep those fingertips nice and tended during all of this. Keep breathing. Do a couple of these at your own pace. Whenever you finish last on the left side, let's come up again. Really lift in that chest. Breathe in. Let's exhale and lower. So now we're going to come into some push-ups and do a little bit of arm work here. So we're going <laughs> to place our hands nice and firm on the mat, lift ourselves up into a plank here. So we're doing some, a different kind of push-up. So we're going to be lifting our hips into that downward dog to start. And then we're going to bring our hips forward, our shoulders, we're going to come up right above our wrists, and then we're gonna do it. come down into a push-up, bending in the elbows, coming back up, and then back into that downward dog. 
So downward dog, shift forward, coming down, bending in the elbows, back up, shift back, downward dog. Do a couple of these at our own pace. We're going to do 10. Down, up, downward dog. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Leg is nice and fully extended. 
We're really squeezing our glutes and just pulsing our legs up just slightly. Toes are nice and pointed. Squeeze. Breathe. Keep breathing. Few more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Let's hold up. Squeeze. Hold here. Squeeze those glutes as hard as you can. Hold, hold, hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Lift a little bit higher if you can. Five. Four. Three. A little bit higher. Two. And you can drop it out. Do some work in the side glutes now. So we're gonna bend in that knee, lift that leg up, bring it back down, hovering on the mat, above the mat. Up, down, up, down, up, down. And let's add a kick into this. So we're gonna lift up, kick, bend, back down. Up, kick, bend, down. Kick, kick. Going at your own pace. Getting some work in that side body. Let's count down now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's hold up. Extend that leg. Hold here. Eight, seven, six. Hold, hold, hold. Five, four, three, two. Woo, jump it up. We're going to do the same thing on the other side now. Keep those hands nice and firm on our mat. Do the same on the left side. Lift that, cover that left leg. Extend it, point the toes. Bring it back. Extend and back. Remember to keep those abs engaged, tailbone tucked in. Hips are squared off. Keep breathing, into the nose, out to the mouth. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze. Extend that leg a little higher if you can. Keep breathing. A few more here. Let's extend that leg behind us, point the toes, and let's pulse, pulse. Pulse, tiny movements, squeezing your glutes. Pulse, toes are pointed. Keep breathing. Pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's hold, squeeze those glutes as hard as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lift that leg a little higher if you can. Stem that leg nice and long, breathe. Squeeze your glutes, hold here, hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, drop that leg down. <laughs> Let's do it to the side now. I'm going to spin around so you can see me now we're doing that prior hiding on the other side. Knees are bent, knees bent, comes out to our side, hovers back down, side, down. Let's add that kick in. Lift up, extend, bend, down. Up, extend, bend, down. Keep breathing here. A few more. That's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Lift it up, extend that leg, let's hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, drop it out. Oh, do a little glute stretch here. I'm gonna give you two options. The first option is gonna come and lift their hips, coming into a downward dog. Bring that right leg out behind us. Swing it forward, we're gonna come into a pigeon pose. So our right shin is parallel to the front of the mat here. Our left leg is extended behind us. We're gonna lift in the chest, breathing in, exhale, folding over. If this is too much for you, you're welcome to do a figure four here for both sides. 
And if you're doing that, you can just come onto your back, take your right foot, bring it just below your knee onto your left thigh, and just give a stretch in the boot this way. Either option is fine, or whatever you're doing, let's just hold here for a minute and breathe. I'm going to come into a pigeon here. So keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Really feeling that stretch in that glute, whatever position you're in. Whenever you're ready, lift back up. Lift, tap those toes, back toes. Lift that right leg, bring coming back into our downward dog here. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. So if you're going into your figure four, you're welcome just to do that on your other side. Otherwise, if you're going into a pigeon, let's lift that left leg behind us, swing it forward. Left shin is now parallel to the front of the mat, lifting in that chest. Inhale, exhale, let's fold over. Breathe. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Really feel that stretch in those glutes. And if you're ready, let's come back up. Tuck those back toes, lift that left leg, coming back into our downward dog. We're gonna come into our last bit of strength training. So we're going to come into a standing position, however you'd like to get into that. If you'd like, you can walk your feet forward. And then slowly we're going to come up vertebrae by vertebrae into our standing position. Here we're going to take a nice wide stance here. So you can face the long side of your mat. Bring your legs nice and wide. Feet can be slightly outwards. Toes are slightly dialed out. We're gonna bend into both knees, coming into a nice wide stance here. So whenever you're in this position, make sure your feet are nice and firm on the mat. We're gonna stay right here. We're gonna go down, really bend in those knees, coming up, not fully extending, but just leaving a slight bend in our knees. Like this, down, up, down, up. We're working our thighs here. You might wanna start feeling your those thighs burning. Remember to have just a slight angle in those feet outwards so you have a nice wide stance here. Keep breathing. Keep that tailbone nice and tucked in. We're not overarching. Squeeze. Engaging those abs will help keep everything nice in line. Keep breathing. So we're going to add some arms into this. We're going to start again with those punches. But this time we're going to punch forward with the right hand, then the left. So as we come down, let's punch out, bring it back as we come up. Left, up, right, left. You can go your own pace here. We're just coming down and up with the punches. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Keep feeling that work in those thighs. And when both arms are back towards the chest, we're going to lift both up as we come up and then bring them back down. Up, down, up, down. Keep breathing here. A few more like this. Extend those arms above the head as you extend your legs. Keep it. Try not to overextend your legs. Keep a slight bend in the knees at all times. And try to keep those abs nice and engaged. We're gonna come back down here, bring those arms out to our side, sides. Slight bend in the elbows. We're gonna come up, bring both Arms in towards the chest, but arms are still slightly extended. Down, arms are coming back out nice and wide. Up, down, up, down. Get a 
doing some work in our chest here, in our arms. Keep breathing. A few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's hold our arms out nice and wide. Get as low as you can, really bend in those knees here. We're gonna just pulse here. Our arms aren't gonna be moving, they're just gonna be nice and wide. If this is too much, you can drop your arms at any time. That's just a little extra for you. But if you'd like to engage those arms, let's keep them slight bend in them and nice and wide. And just pulse, pulse as low as you can. So really bending in those knees as low as you can, and then a small movement up and down. Keep breathing. Let's count down here, eight, pulse, seven, pulse, six, pulse, five, pulse, four, three, two, hold low, drop the arms if you like. If you really like some challenge, just bring those arms above the head here. Let's get as low as we can in those knees. Low, low, low. Keep those everything nice and squeezed here. Squeeze those thighs, hold here. Let's hold, get as low as you can. Lift those heels if you want more of a challenge here. Let's hold, eight, seven, six, five. Low, 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 nice and low. Four, three, two. Just drop it out. If you want to shake out your legs a little bit, you can do a quick thigh stretch by grabbing foot, top of the foot, coming to the other side. I'm going to end with a little bit of stretching and a little more strength here. So we're going to come into a chair position. We can face the front of our mats here, bend in the knees. Tuck in that tailbone, arms are gonna come up above our heads. But with this, we're gonna lift our back heels and get some work in those calves. We haven't really done a lot in the lower part of our legs here. So let's lift those heels and just hold this for a second and breathe. So lift our arms nice above us, hold here. Tuck in that tailbone, let's hold. Eight, seven, six. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, hold here. Five, four, breathe, three, two, let's release. So we're gonna fold over our legs here, taking that right leg, coming back out behind us, coming back into that nice wide stance. This time we're gonna bend in our right knee, Coming up to our heel and flexing our left foot and getting a little bit of a hamstring stretch here. Let's go to the other side. So let's straighten that right leg, bend in that left knee now. Flexing that right foot, stretching on the other side. Let's alternate this a few times and if you'd like to add a little bit of a side body stretch, you can bend in the knee, the right knee here, flex that left foot, take that left arm, Extend it out towards the back of your mat. Let's alternate to the other side again. Bending in that left knee, flexing that right foot. Arm can come up above us, extending towards the front of our mat. Let's come back to the center here. Let's just fold over. Our legs are nice and wide here. If you'd like to interlace your fingers and get a little stretch, in the chest here, the shoulders. Whenever you're ready, we're gonna turn the toes to face the front of our mat again. Take that left foot, bring it back to meet our right. Final downward dog here. Lift in the hips, pedal out the feet. Really feel this stretch. Breathe. We can drop our knees. And come down to a seated position here. I'm just going to turn to face you guys. We're going to do a final couple of stretches here. We're going to take our right leg, bend in the knee, bring it over to the top of our left thigh. Take our left leg, bend in the knee, and take our, have our left foot come 
behind us towards our right side. So we're, both knees are bent. We're coming into like a pretzel shape here almost. Taking our right hand, placing it on the inside of our right knee, and twisting towards the left, our right, our right arm, sorry. Twisting towards the left here. Our left hand can come behind us. Gaze can follow towards the left, really twisting the body towards our left side. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. You can come back to center. Let's just squeeze that knee a little bit, the right knee. Really feel the stretch a little bit. Let's do the same on the other side. So we're bending in the left leg, comes over the right. Right foot comes towards our left side. Our left arm comes to the inside of our left knee now. Now we're going to twist towards the right side. Our right hand can come behind us, twisting on the other side. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Really feeling this twist. Let's come back to the front and just squeeze that leg again real quick. If you'd like to take any final stretches, you're more than welcome to. Um, but for now, I'm just going to end this class.